So, you have created your Qualtrics account, you have logged into Qualtrics, and this is the first thing you'll see. This is your dashboard. For you, the first time, it will be much emptier, but you can see that I already have a number of surveys in here. The dashboard basically gives you a quick overview. So when your survey is live, you will see that the number of responses is increasing, assuming that you're successfully recruiting participants. Now, the dashboard gives a nice overview, but if you want to see all your projects, and projects in Qualtrics are surveys, you click on the three dashes up in the left top corner. When you click there, a few options appear. These are tabs. The projects tab gives you an overview of all the surveys that you have. Catalog and workflows will be largely irrelevant for you. Contacts um, is a place where you can store a list of participants. This can be useful um, for specific surveys, and I will talk about them later in this tutorial. Library is a place where you can store messages and other media, such as photos or videos that you want to embed in your Qualtrics survey. I will also talk about that at a later point in time. Let's first have a quick look at the projects overview. In my projects overview, I have a few folders that helps me organize my work. You may not have need for these folders, so, but you can always have a look at them and create them if you are managing a lot of surveys. Here in this folder, you can see that I have three surveys. And this is my templates folder. I will also show you now to start with how you can create your own Qualtrics survey. 